Good morning and welcome to episode 6 of season 1. We are travelling from Lakes Entrance in Victoria to Wagga Wagga in New South Wales via Omeo, Mita Mita and Wodonga. We will take the Great Alpine Road to Omeo and then Omeo Highway to Mita Mita. Both these roads are nice, curvy and very scenic. There are some long stretches between major towns but we will have a look at some beautiful campgrounds. The Great Alpine Road offers incredible year-round experience with warm weather walking, cycling, camping and exciting adventure opportunities during the popular snow season and throughout the long and lazy summer days. It passes through majestic mountain ranges, plunging valleys and rolling vineyards. Whatever the season is, be sure of breathtaking views, unforgettable sceneries and warm welcome in the villages along the way. The good thing about curvy road is they force us to slow down and enjoy the surrounding beauty of nature. We are now going to witness Omeo's beautiful hilltop site on the edge of snowy mountains along the Great Alpine Road. This pioneering mountain town is famous for its gold mining history, high country cattle grazing and historic buildings. A courthouse built in 1865 is located at the Pearson Historic Park. There is a post office that was built in 1890s. The jail was built of logs in 1858. The blacksmith shop, stables and water wheel. The Oriental Claim Historic Area is Australia's highest alluvial goldfield. Kosciuszko Lookout is just outside the town along the Great Alpine Road. We will take a look at few of the attractions located in the town center and then take the Omeo Highway towards Mita Mita.
The next fuel station is in Mita Mita, which is about 110 km of curvy road. So for the safe side, I filled Stromi up. Our next stop is at Angler's Rest. It is a large open campground on the bank of Kobangra River. A great place for anglers and kayakers. Drop toilet, picnic table and constructed fireplaces are available at the site. The campsite are small and sloping, so only suitable for tents, small campers and caravans. The next stop is at Middle Creek Camping Area. This camping area is ideal for large groups. It offers 30 unpowered sites, suitable for tents, camper trailers, camper vans and caravans. Each campsite holds a maximum of 6 people and booking is required. Next on the list is Big River Bridge Campground, a small but pleasant and leveled campground by the rushing Big River, well shaded by large and tall snow gums. It is situated in broadening of narrow bridge river valley surrounded by steep forest mountains and partially cleared hills.
We are now going to Lightning Creek Campground. It is pretty long space. Surrounded by native forest, this segregated site is on the banks of Snowy Creek, directly accessible from Omeo Highway. This open grassy flat area makes for easy and accessible year-round use. This site provides camping suitable for tents, small caravans and camping trailers. It is a great place to stay or stop for a break. Include half a dozen barbecues, picnic tables, amenities. The site is free and open on first-in basis. Lightning Creek is very popular during peak season, long weekends and the school holidays. So make sure you have plan B for your stay, such as Walnuts or Snowy Creek Campground. I usually check everything on the bike before leaving, but somehow I forgot to lock the top box and panniers this morning. As a result, the top box fell off. But fortunately, I heard the noise, looked back and found it dropped on the road. Besides some minor scratches, the top box is fine, but I learned a lesson. Mita Mita is a small village between Mount Misery and Mount Welcome in Mita Valley. The charm of this place is based on the quiet beauty of the valley and the prime attractions of this place are fishing, bushwalking, foshicking for gold, visiting the old gold mining sites and simply relaxing. Mita Mita and Omeo are the popular stopping points for motorcyclists on this route.
We are now going to Lake Hume. It is a beautiful place and an easy 15 minute drive from Aubrey Wodonga. There is something for everybody at the lake. Wakeboarding, water skiing, tube riding and stand up pedal boarding for adventurous. For those who like a gentler pace, the foreshore is perfect place to enjoy a picnic, fire up a barbecue and experience the mountain views. Fishing enthusiasts have been casting off into Lake Hume for generations. I have had a few breath tests done while driving, but this was the first one while riding. A big thanks to all the law enforcement personnel for keeping us safe. Sorry, back to Lake Hume. The lake was formed because of Hume Dam on Mighty Murray River, the boundary between New South Wales and Victoria. Aubrey and Wodonga are the twin cities on the border of these two states. There is a lot these twin cities have to offer. I cannot cover everything in this episode. I guess I'll have to make a separate episode dedicated to Aubrey Wodonga. That was it for today's video. Our three days trip to Lake's entrance and back home has reached to the end. The next few episodes are going to be a family trip to Mirambula. Thank you for coming along on this trip. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and support this channel by clicking the subscribe button. We will catch up again in the next episode.